guys it's JJ Sweets and welcome back to my channel to dye this hair you're going to need a mixing bowl actually you're going to need two a whole bunch of hair dye oh four bottles wild cherry one bottle of emerald adore hair dye and one bottle of darkest brown adore hair dye first we're gonna start off with the cherry hair dye now girl don't be like me and start dyeing your hair without gloves i always never have gloves on me so you better make sure you have gloves when you're dyeing your hair so now i know i watched the video i see my socks is nasty okay but i have dogs i have two dogs and they shed like this hair okay so that's why you see the dog hairs all over my socks <laughs> we're gonna start off with the frontal well yeah we are gonna dye the weave without actually dyeing the top of the um frontal because we're gonna save that for when um the actual hair is done so we can do the roots on a mannequin okay well you know what you guys just have fun watch me as i do this hair and i'll get back to you in a little bit Arr! little tip if you find that your hair dye is running out you can add um like half a cup of water to it mix well and then just carry on dying baby So because I'm dyeing this hair two different colours, when um, the colours meet in the middle, um, I just like to mix the colours, both the colours, just a little bit so that there is a smooth transition from the red to the um, emerald. Remember this isn't like a tutorial, this is more of me just showing you guys how I make my wigs so it's like really messy but usually when I'm dyeing up bundles if they're both the same colour I usually just put each bundle on top of the other and I fold them in quarters but just to make sure that the hair, all the colour is going through the hair, when you finish dyeing both the sides you have to take it up and fold it and then make sure you get inside as well. This is what I'm saying girls you better make sure you're wearing your gloves now honey or else you're gonna have the nasty fingers like I do with my fake American accent. Let me stop. <laughs> actually dye my hair on the bin bag is because when you are finished you can just fold it up like a big ass burrito okay and leave it there I left this hair for um overnight and this is what it looked like after I had washed and dried it and I am loving this color <laughs> And don't care, then oh baby and this hair is still <laughs> shedding oh my god Anyway, before I get to dyeing my lace frontal, I need to prep it. I'm going to be using cocoa butter to spread on the lace, but you can use any sort of petroleum jelly type substance. I basically just use this and I spread it all over the bottom of my lace or underneath my lace, making sure not to press too hard for it not to go through the frontal. Bit, I'm going to get some cling film and wrap around my mannequin heads so that any of the hair dye and the petroleum jelly won't stick onto the fabric of my mannequin hair. with I was just using the darkest brown to do the roots but then I decided to mix some of the um, cherry red in the mix just a little bit so it doesn't look um, too off key See now I'm really about to show you guys all the shameful things I'll be doing when I'll be making this wig in secret. So cause the red wasn't flowing really well to the um, brown, me and my dumb self decided to just use my fingers and mix some of the red with the brown myself, you know manually, but 
listen i said this ain't a tutorial i'm just showing you guys how i make my wig so don't judge me so this is what the front tour looks like once it has been washed and dried. Stay tuned for part two of me making the wig. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to see more of me. Click that thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be part of my notification squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>